Hello, welcome to Ellie V Toys. We're going to build a new carriage for Cinderella today. This is the Lego Juniors Cinderella's carriage. And it says easy to build, so it is going to be, but it's going to be super duper fun because there are lots of characters in these sets and no stickers. Yippee! <laughs> right, so first up, let's build the mini doll, which is Cinderella. And Cinderella has got a beautiful ball gown on here with sparkles and a necklace. And she's got white uh, elbow high gloves. They're even higher than that. She's got her traditional beautiful blue eyes and her blonde hair up in a bun with a blue hairband. Now we have another Cinderella from the castle and she's wearing a different outfit, ball gown as well. But I really like this new one because it's white. It's almost kind of off the shoulder. Well, white on the shoulder. And she's got the sparkles and the necklace. So yeah, I like the new one a little better, but they were pleased to see each other. But the other Cinderella needs to go away now because we can only have one Cinderella at a time. Otherwise it'll be too confusing. The set also comes with Prince Charming. Here he is. Here's his very charming outfit. He's all ready for the ball. And he looks just like the Prince Charming we got in the castle set as well. There you go. So no surprises there. But two mini dolls in this set and a puppy. This is Cinderella's puppy. Cinderella's puppy. Come on. Are you going to go and greet Cinderella? No, we're going to put a bow on you first. There we go. Now you look lovely. <laughs> so two mini dolls and a puppy. There we go. Big smooches for Cinderella's nose. Now she's covered in lick. <laughs> She'll need to go and clean up before the ball. Now what are they going to need? They're going to need quite a few things here if she's going to head off to the ball. And there are only two bags in this set, but it's chock-a-block full of little details. So let's see what the first one is. Here we have got the magic wand. And if we wave it at the moment... <gasps> Did you see what happened when I waved the magic wand? It was very subtle. It was something happened to Cinderella in the corner. Can you write in the comments and tell me what happened? Well, I keep building the rest here. We've now got a pumpkin. We're going to try out our magic wand on the pumpkin, but nothing's happening yet because it's supposed to turn into a carriage and we haven't actually built the carriage yet. So maybe we need to do that before we can do any sort of magic. <laughs> okay, so we need a seating area in the middle here. The puppy's going to try it out, but it's not for the puppy. It's for Prince Charming and Cinderella. There's enough room in there for both of those mini dolls. So we could seat them, let me see, this way, except keep falling over. They can each have a window to look out if they face like this. Cool, that's excellent. All right, let's keep building our carriage. And the joy of junior pieces is that all the pieces are printed and these lovely uprights with the silver sparkles are printed on both sides. Beautiful silver sparkly swirls printed on both sides and I didn't have to put a single sticker on. Yeehaw! That's <laughs> so exciting. There's a little flower on the top here. Do we have a matching one on the other side? Yes, we do. And right on the top of the carriage, of course, we need a jeweled heart. This carriage is starting to look very, very magical. And we also have a big trunk here, a big chest, and in it goes a lipstick and a hairbrush. So Cinderella can do those finishing touch-ups before she enters into the ball. Some reins on the front, and they're now securely attached now with the pink pieces on the top. And we need some really fancy wheels. Look at these, these beautiful golden scroll worked wheels. They're absolutely gorgeous. It is so magical, so fairy tale. Uh, but we do need something to make this carriage go. So the set also comes with a snowy white horse to pull the carriage. That's just gorgeous. The color scheme goes beautifully with the white and the blue. And Cinderella is so thrilled to see the horse that she's going to put a bow on her. There we go. All decked out and ready for the ball. But hang on, we managed to do all this by building and that's not how the story goes. We need some magic to make this carriage happen. So we will get a pumpkin and we will get our magic wand and we'll ah, uh, bibbidi bobbidi boo. And now we have magicked up our carriage and Cinderella is so pleased because now she can head off to the ball. Off you go, Cinderella. She's going the long way, I think, because we still haven't actually built the ballroom. <laughs> so we'll open up bag number two. First up in it, the puppy gets a bone and, and the puppy's now run away with my magic wand. 
Probably because I was trying to magic the bone into something. So it's probably a good thing because I don't know quite what I was going to magic that bone into. It could have been a really big surprise. <laughs> but maybe we can encourage the puppy to come back if we build the puppy a little tiny house. There we go. She's come back, but she didn't bring the wand back. So I'm going to have to search for that later. <laughs> In the meantime, we will build the ballroom so that these beautiful characters can head off to the ball. So we're getting there. Here is our decoration for the back of the ballroom. Beautiful big drapes and some lovely vines there, rose vines and some very castly windows. And it's a lovely simple design, which means it's easy to get in and out of to get our characters in so they can play. A little table off on the side and on the table there is something with frosting and a goblet. Look at this green goblet. This is the first time I have seen this cup in any Lego Friends, Lego Disney Princess, any Lego Elves sets. Is this a brand new cup design? Because I love it and I would like to see it some more. It's gorgeous. Some turrets on the top of our little ballroom here, our little castle, and the all important clock, which is about to strike 12 midnight. That is important to our story. And on the very top of the castle turrets, we have a jeweled heart and a flag, a gold flag. Right, back down into the ballroom. Nice and simple, some flowers. And some on the other side too. And on the front, a couple of torches to light the entryway to make it magnificent and make sure that nobody burns themselves as they go through. So they have to be very careful. And here is Cinderella's glass slipper that she leaves behind as she runs from the ballroom on the stroke of midnight. Ah, <laughs> right. Can you look after each other, please? <laughs> now that's the whole build. If the prince and Cinderella can get along enough and not <laughs> knock each other over, we might start our story. So here we are, Cinderella has just magically been magicked into her ball gown. She has twirled, she looks amazing. Uh, but we do need some way to get to the ball because she is going to the ball. So we have a pumpkin and I have found the magic wand and the pumpkin and the puppy are in just the right places. <gasps> and they've turned into the horse and the carriage. That's amazing magic that is. I didn't even have to say bibbidi bobbidi boo. <laughs> and she's in the carriage. She looks so ready to go. So off they go. Off to the ball. Have a good time, Cinderella, but make sure you're back before the stroke of midnight. So she's entered the ballroom here. The prince has seen her. It is love at first sight. They get to eat some frosted deliciousness and have a lovely drink and then a big dance before the clock strikes midnight. It is time to go, Cinderella, quick. You must dash, be careful of those flaming torches on your way out. She's stuck, she seems to be stuck. Oh, she's left her shoe behind. No, there's no time to stop, you've gotta go. And she's rushed away, leaving the prince bereft. And he of course gets um, this lovely shoe so he can go and find the mysterious, beautiful woman from the ball. And it's obviously worked because he has found Cinderella and now they can parade around in the gorgeous carriage and then they can get married. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the build. It's such a lovely little set and you can have so much fun with it. Please don't forget to subscribe and click like. Check out some of my other silly videos. I'm going to be back with another one very, very soon.